What's up fellow YouTubers? Happy Thanksgiving! Super Milwaukee boy back at the kitchen table for another In My Kitchen food review. Thank you for taking time out with your families to join me here on another review. And seeing that I am in the Thanksgiving spirit on this video, we are doing two ground turkey items made by Genio. They're Genio products. And we're doing a like my sausage review that I did a while back ago, we're doing another head-to-head -head versus competition, but this time with ground turkey. And first up we have the original Genio's ground turkey, 93% lean, 7% fat, all-natural ground turkey meat. And his competition today is the Jenny O's ground turkey breast, 99% lean, 1% fat, all natural turkey meat. Now, both of these guys were uh, same priced. They both costed uh, $5. I believe it was $4.80 for both of them, but around $5. Uh, pick and save grocery store and uh, interesting that they were both the same price because there are two different products one being extra lean and one being just lean you know just um just natural and uh, as if you can uh, I don't know if you guys can take a look but as I view the two meats I can see that the gr extra ground turkey breast 99% lean 1% fat is a little more pinkish in color and you can really see that they extracted more of the fats the chewy fats you get in the meat compared to the original 93% lean uh, that's interesting because this could uh, be a little uh, flaw for one or, or a, a, a better for one in this scenario just by the look you know um there's no other way really to describe it I wish I could show it to you guys maybe I can as if you could see between the two meats the extra lean is more pink and different looking than the 93 percent original and uh, between the two meats they're about the same they come close but it's not it's not about the look guys it's more about the taste so what I think what I think is gonna happen is what I got what I what I my honest opinion guys is I'm thinking that the 93 percent might have the better flavor because I kinda like that little bit of fat in the meat I'm kind of that kind of guy, but for the same price, <laughs> who knows, maybe I'll cook the extra lean and that'll just blow me out of the water. But anyways, as you guys see, I got some cooking to do, definitely got some cooking to do for this review, but before I do that, I would like to read off each of the ingredients list in the back of these products. So here we go. I'm going to start out with the ground turkey, 93% extra lean, 7% fat. Here goes the original. <clears throat> Nutrition facts. We have calories 170, calories from fat 70, total fat 8 grams, saturated fat 2.5 grams, trans fat 0 grams, cholesterol is 80 milligrams, sodium is 80 milligrams, Total carbohydrate is 0 grams, dietary fiber 0 grams, sugar 0 grams, protein is 21 grams, so you get a great source. This is a, this is a protein, I'll give it that. It is, meats are proteins, <laughs> super Milwaukee boy. Vitamin A is 2%, calcium is 2%, vitamin C is 0%, and iron is 6%. So you do get a lot of stuff out of this protein meat. Uh, I do agree that there's probably quite a bit more fat in the original. And uh, now on to the extra lean. This is the 
what they say is the 99% lean, 1% fat. Calories 120, so right off the bat, there's a lot less calories in this one. Calories from fat is 15, that's a lot less fat. Total fat is 1.5 grams, wow, that is small, that's a small number. They definitely did take the time to extract out all the fats in this uh, ground turkey meat. Saturated fat is 0 0.5 grams, trans fat is 0 grams, cholesterol is 55 milligrams. So if you're trying to watch your cholesterol a bit, this would be a better choice. The regular is 80 milligrams of cholesterol, this one's only 55 milligrams of cholesterol. Sodium is 70 milligrams. Total carbohydrate, 0 grams. Dietary fiber, 0 grams. Sugar, 0 grams. Protein, 26 grams. Wow, that's different. That's a huge difference in protein. So, in the original, you only get 21 grams of protein. In the extra lean, you get 26 grams of protein. That's about a 4, four gram difference. No, that's a, that's a 5. That, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of uh, protein for the extra lean. Vitamin A is 0%, calcium is 0%, vitamin C is 0%, and iron is 4%. So although you get iron in this one, you don't get any vitamin A or calcium like you do in the original. So that could be a small downfall, which makes up here where you get more protein. But I got cooking to do, guys. So I will... Uh, be back as soon as possible. Hang tight, guys. All right. I am back, guys. Um, one thing I would like to do real quick is, if you guys can see this, I'd like to give you guys a view of what I got going on here. Let's see. Maybe I can leave the camera like that see if that works out um so guys here we go I've cut the labels I cut the little labels off of the Genio's box to make sure I wasn't gonna mix and match these two meats up but it's so obvious to tell which is which because it's it's so weird because I cooked the 93% lean so 7% fat original Genio's ground turkey and it had a darker denser color than the 99% 1% fat extra lean Genio's meat and let me show you on cam what, I, what I'm talking about guys alright so you can clearly see which is which this is the 93% lean 7% fat original Genio's ground turkey and this was the 99% lean, 1% fat, extra lean Genio's ground turkey. Now, uh, my experiences on cooking, I'm sorry if I damp my face a little bit. It did get hot in here, very steamy while cooking in my pan. But the weird part was even the cooking of the two meats were a little off, you know. the. The, the fattier original 93% lean was a little more lighter to stir and it was mu more mushy. The pink meat was more mushy to stir around and cook unlike the extra lean meat which was more thick and uh, which kind of scares me because it, it made me think of just pink mush, you know, fake meat, <laughs> which is a little scary in my opinion. But I'm thinking more is because between the two, maybe they got with the extra lean, the non-fattier part of the animal, and they took out right here the darker meat, which is the fattier part of the animal. But I could be wrong. I don't know if they're just, you know, faking this whole extra lean thing. But without further ado, I would like to take a, a, a taste test of the two meats and tell you which ground turkey by Genio's is the best. Um, 
And yeah, I had my experiences with the two. There was a lot of differences. A lot of differences, guys. I'm talking... There's a lot of differences. If you... Uh, I would have never known that either by just buying them. I probably would have went right to the Genio Extra Lean 99% Lean, you know, meat. Because I like to be healthy. I've been healthy since I dropped 100 pounds many years ago, about five years ago. And I've been eating right ever since then, guys. But with me, I always try to go the extra lean route. So that would have been my first option that popped into my head. You know, I would have never thought twice, you know, about this 93% lean Genio's ground turkey. Let me grab my spoon, and then I'll explain my rating skill to you guys. All right. Got my spoon. Got to get me a little... Thanksgiving napkin. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. For better or for worse, I'm going to go over my rating skill. Then we'll get right to work on these two meats. One, the product was awful. Two, the product was okay. Three, the product was good, but they can always step it up and improve the product. Four, the product was great, and that's great enough. Or five, the product was just outstanding, fantastic. All right, so we know about the two meats now. We know the nutrition facts. We know about how I cook the meats. You, you, we know the differences. We can see the differences for sure. Guys, I'm going to start off with the uh, extra lean. Now we're going to move right on to the 93% lean. So this is the ground Genio ground turkey breast, 99% lean, 1% fat, all natural meat. Here we go, guys. It is good. So good. So far, it's good enough to say it's good. Wow. And I kind of take back what I said. It appeared to be a fake meat. But I can now on tasting it, I can see that they did take the white meat from the animal. And not so much the dark meat, which is the fattier part of the meat. That's good. But the 93% lean, 7% fat ground turkey still has a chance to redeem itself. Also, one other little difference after cooking both meats is the 99% lean had no grease. The 93% with the fat in it had some grease for me in there. So let's give the Jenny O ground turkey 93% lean, 7% fat, all natural ground turkey meat a try, guys. Just give myself a second to clear my mouth of the extra lean. Mmm. Mmm. So good. All right. On my rating scale for today. So close in goodness, but let's, let's let's start out with the extra lean. Very good, very good. On my rating skill, I will have to give the extra lean Genios a four for fantastic. Basically, your typical white meat, all good for you. It is extra lean. The white meat is usually the extra lean part. But I'm more of a fan of the dark meats. I kind of do like those fats, like I said before, guys. So on my rating scale, the Genio Ground Turkey 93% Lean Original, 
five for fantastic guys. Now, what would just blow your taste buds away is if you were to take these two meats and combine them together, and then you'll have the white and the dark meat together, you know, make yourself a little portion size bowl of that. That would be a great amount of protein. But, all in all, rating skill set, extra lean, great. The original 93% lean, fantastic due to the fats in there. The little bit of grease, nothing hurts a little bit of grease, it was good. And that's my scale. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Love to all of you and your families. I hope you guys have a great one. Take care, guys. See you guys.